Hi guys. Today we will discuss long strangle. Now as you can see from my like Udemy profile, I have many courses on option strategies. Now why did I make so many courses? Because I have seen first hand that hedge fund, mutual fund, high net worth client uses option strategies like to the core. They use it every day, every week, every month. They do lose money, but they are like using it so much that their success ratio is really great. And if you will trade them, then you will also know that out of like ten trades, you will have two losing trades, and that is a loss fixed trade. So your losses are fixed, but your profits are unlimited. So your risk is like really gone. You don't have to do anything. You know, even if I have like took a loss of like say a hundred dollars, the next trade can like really come up with three hundred dollars in profit. So at the end of the day, I'm getting income. Now these strategies are income strategies. So if you place a trade every month, with let's say fifteen days expiry or thirty days expiry, then you have a higher chance to make money. The best part. Let's presume you make a trade with thirty days expiry period. Now, over time, the options premium starts to get reduced. So, if you like invested, let's say a uh, two dollar premium per option contract, so four dollar in total for two contracts. After ten days, the premium will get reduced as it comes nearer to its expiry period. It will be reduced from two dollar to one dollar. So if you like square it by buying the opposite option, you are basically getting paid. So at the end of the day, you initially paid two dollars, and uh, like the option time spread reduced it, so you got paid a dollar for it, and that's the best part. Another thing is American options. In American options, you can claim it any day you like. You don't need to wait for the expiry period. Yes, your money will be like uh, invested, but at the end of the day, if the price is moving with your like uh, game plan, you can suddenly book in the profit. Example: Let's look at it here. We are seeing that the price. Is currently moving within the Bollinger Band. Now, right here, it has crossed on the top. Once it crosses on the top, we know it's our lucky day. Now, you might be thinking how to select a stock. I would suggest you to pick top ten blue chip companies. Blue chip means good companies which you have seen on the main street. Example in the U.S. Bank of America Corporation, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, or companies which are like renowned, and every day for take out like fifteen minutes, just look at their charts and try to find this kind of candle which goes beyond the Bollinger Band top band. That's it. Nothing else. Absolutely nothing else. Just look at it. All the charts, the top ten companies that you have picked every day. Don't invest in them. Just wait. Look at them. Look at them. Look at them. Once you find this thing, put the option contract. Now we are discussing strangle. So in strangle, you have two option contract. One is put. One is call. So you put the put contract. Right at this end, on the middle Bollinger band, at fifteen, let's take it fifteen fifty, because usually it's a round number game. So you will find fifteen fifty or fifteen seventy five on the options chain. So let's take fifteen fifty. The next option contract that you make is the call option contract. Make it like uh, today's price close is at sixteen. 
try to find 1620 or 1610 like nearer to your closing price if you can find an option contract at 16 awesome 1610 no problem the point is nearer to your closing price now we have put in two options contract this green is call option and this red is put option okay now, as per like the long strangle, we need the price to stay out of this band, that is this lower band, this higher band. You can even reduce this band from 1550 to 1575. Why? Because basically you are targeting to, it to stay out of the band, right? So, the smaller the band, the higher the chances. But let me take it to 1550. I want to show you a, like a really risky game. And through my plan, I want to show you how successful it is. Reason being, you can always reduce it to make a good option chain. And make a profit easily. But what to do if things go wrong? That's why I'm selecting a far higher band. Now let's look what happens next. First day, it's now out of a band. Two days, three days, four days, five days. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now usually, in a week, there are five working days. So ten days means two weeks have passed. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Three weeks have passed. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, 1920 approximately a month have passed and now what do you see you see that an expiry date of 30 days you are currently trading at 1641 uh, 1648 where did you trade you traded at 1611 that's approximately 36 37 cents profit right an awesome profit you can easily sell it on the top and make good money without any doubt on the expiry date this is the first scenario second scenario as the price moved up and you know let's say it's a $16 like option chain so it will be uh, let's say 20 25 cents in like both premiums so you will have your break even point let's say at 1630 so once the price goes up on that day you can square it out the options and book your profit right here at 1656 without waiting for this expiry period you simply square your options out just look at the time spread you paid 20 cents 10 cents for each like option contract two option contract means 20 cents once it goes above and you are in profit let's book your profit at 50 cents so 1670 would have been 50 cents right here on this day you simply check out the option times right and you square your options on that day. Once you do, you claim the option on one side and get your profit fixed. What do I mean? Now, if both these options expire worthless and the price ends in between right here, example this uh, date, then it says that you have lost your premium that you paid up front. If the price ends outside, then you can simply claim this call option and this call option was placed at 1610 so your buying becomes 1610 and let's say you exercise the option right here so at 1677 you can sell on that day so you got to keep a 60 uh, sorry 57 cents profit boom on this day and you paid 30 cents in like uh, premium 
so you got a 37 cent profit so basically you can claim it right there as we discussed in the time spread uh, chapter with time the option premium will start to get reduced so if you paid 16 cents for buying an option then for selling an option you could be paid 8 cents so once you are paid 8 cents to square that option the other side so if you paid 30 cents example let me put it right here text let's presume we paid 10 cents for this call option okay and we paid 10 cents here as well for the put option now once the price goes to this end with times period as we claimed uh, as we like entered the option contract right here so it's like 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 or 13 so after 13 days it will not be 10 cents it would have been reduced to 3 or 4 cents why because your expiry period is far nearer so they can expire so you can just go into the market and because you bought these options so you paid for them if you sold these options you will be paid right so let's presume the options that are now priced at 5 cents so if you like uh, buy this put option out you would be paid 5 cents but you won't be squaring this option because you will be utilizing this option by saying that okay sell me the stock at 1610 and you will simply sell it on that day at a higher rate so basically you pay 20 cents you earned 5 cents by like selling the put option which literally squared these two options so your cost is reduced to 15 cents but as the price is higher so simply bought it at 1610 and sold it at 1677 so your profits got increased now let's presume you don't square it you wait for the expiry date to anyone 20 cents this 5 cents won't be there for you why because on expiry date you don't need to square it out so only these two will be there that it, you pay 20 cents so your cost will be increased like with your cost the price will be increased to 1630 and you are squaring it at 1648 so basically you earned 18 cents on the trade and you are utilizing this trade every month so you are getting paid every month and it acts like your passive income so now you learned the three techniques of option players how I learned them I learned them by like looking at hedge funds mutual funds and even high net worth clients I've seen them that they would have bought it here and the price would have like gone straight gone up and once it would have reached up they would have started to square it out because they were not trading one option they were trading thousands of options you as an investor on the flip side is trading only one option so you can square it like at any day you are like the gorilla force you don't have any problem but uh, like uh, a hedge fund is like an army they have to keep an eye on it because they have like huge forces let's say a hundred options they know they cannot simply square it out so they start to square it on this day 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 and the rest get expired on the expiry date this is their point and the best part is as it the price went above the Bollinger band you know that the trend is up so there is a like higher odds of the price ending above this call option and giving you a profit because if it ends in between you are in total loss 
but if it stays above you get to have a smaller loss and once it re like reaches 20 cents that is this is 1610 at 1630 it's break even so beyond 1630 you are always in profit but even if it ended beyond above like this green line then your losses gets reduced the best point now let's see what happens next can we find another trade right here right here we will trade a second strangle long strangle options the same way we put the call option on the closing price $18 and the put option right here at 17 why because there is a huge gap now usually I would put the option contract right here why because if the price opens higher usually it comes back to fill it but I will put it at the same closing price with this put option at a lower rate now let's assume we paid 15 cents each that is 15 cents for this put contract and 15 cents for this call contract now what happens next one day up two three four five six six days up and where are you you bought it at eighteen dollars and your cost is 30 cents so your break even point would have been 1630 sorry 1830 right here I don't know where the line went wait a minute eighteen thirty now my point of view is above eighteen thirty you can claim it any day you like seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen now eighteen nineteen twenty this would have been the expiry date of our option this last date huge profit now just look at it closely what do you see this D is for dividend that means that on 30th November was the X dividend date or result date payment date is December 30th so basically you follow these dates the ex dividend dates because usually the price rises and then it gets axed to a reduced price so this is your game plan wait for it you could have squared it right here and earned a handsome profit or you could have waited and on the expiry date you could have earned a higher profit but the concept is this plan is profitable mostly profitable why because once it goes beyond the Bollinger Band it tells you that it's like in an upward trend movement and with the 30 days expiry period you have a higher chance to make a good profit because right here on this trade you could have like simply bought it at 18 and sold on expiry at 22.57 so that's 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, $4 dollar 57 cents your cost 30 cents $4 27 cents one option contract is hundred dollars so it would have increased your profits to 437 sorry 427 dollars without anything you just keep an eye on it and at the end of the month it would have given you a huge profit and for the rest of the days you would just sit on the sideline and just look at it if it comes on the right moment you buy the options contract otherwise you just say okay no problem I'm not trading so these are the real important things because basically on like 
on any website you will only find them telling you okay buy this put contract you pay x premium buy a call contract you pay x premium that's it but what how would you know example we traded at a certain specific point but what if you would have traded it right on this day this candle for like 20 days it would have stuck in between the bullinger band and there would have been a higher chance that you could have lost everything the full premium whereas in my plan from day 1 it remained outside your band because if it like this is your like band it is from first day outside the band no problem at all example a first option contract right here this day we uh, like traded it on the close 1610 it remained outside for 3 days then it came back in 3 days then it went out again so basically we were not in trouble from day 1 it was always helping us out even though it came back in but it went out because the long term trend was outside that's why i love pulling a band and i would suggest you to follow it it will help you make good money thank you